I'm Natalia Bonner. Welcome back. I'm excited to have you here today and share this fun little spider web. Seems like the perfect time to share something kind of spooky. <laughs> Anyways, this fun quilt today is definitely a Halloween quilt. And I do have a video over on my Patreon page, patreon.com slash Natalia Bonner, where I take you more in depth and show you this whole entire quilt and my process of quilting this, including in the center of this quilt, there is a panel where I actually did a ton of custom detail work on that panel, really trying to make it come to life. So this is such a fun quilt. I hope you are inspired by this fun little spider web here today. So I do all of my machine quilting on a Gamel 22 inch machine, definitely hand guided, but you will see that I will use my four in one machine quilting ruler. Now I am using some so fine thread, this awesome gray color on the top. That's what I'm actually using on this whole entire quilt top. And then on my bobbin, I'm using bottom line thread. So you can pick up the threads over on our website, peaceandquilt.com. Now the batting that I'm using here today is one layer of the Quilter Stream Poly Deluxe batting. I love that batting. It creates a little bit of loft, but still a really nice flat batting. Just what I like. So let's check out this little video today. And if you do want more, make sure you check out my Patreon page. Let's get stitching. I love machine quilting spider webs. I know there's something that's kind of a little crazy and out there, but they're so much fun to quilt and so forgiving. So you can see as I'm stitching out this fun spider web here, I start out using my four in one machine quilting ruler and I stitch a straight line right towards the center. Now I have not gone through, I haven't measured, I haven't marked anything. I am just guessing where the center is. And that's kind of the beauty of working with a spider web. It's okay if it's imperfect. So as I stitch a straight line back to the outside, when I get to that outside point, you'll notice that I'll stop and stitch a free motion curve. Moving over just a short distance. Once I've done that, then I'll repeat that process stitching those triangles with the curves all the way around the outside of the block. Now, once I've stitched all of those straight lines, I've got my foundation and I'm now going to stitch line to line curves. Now these are totally free motion and I like to quilt them a little bit wonky because they're a spider web. So you can see how I start out on the outside and continue to work my way to the inside, stitching out those fun little spider web designs. So I know this block makes it a little bit more difficult to see, but spider webs really could be quilted anywhere on any type of Halloween, or if you just love spider webs, you could quilt them on any quilt. Such a fun motif. I hope you all found a little bit of inspiration from today's short little video. If you do want to see more of this awesome Halloween quilt, make sure you do check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash Natalia Bonner. Have a great day, everybody.